When I found out about the ThinkPad Advanced Stock 2503, I was ecstatic, but also a little bit upset. I couldn't believe that I had never heard of this docking station solution before, because it addresses an issue that we are still, to an extent, dealing with today. And that is the lackluster performance of laptop graphics. Today we are going to look at how this docking station from over 12 years ago can turn an ordinary laptop into a graphics powerhouse. As per usual, not everything went as planned for this video. I was originally planning to use a fully spec T400 for testing to utilize the dock's video card to its full potential. Unfortunately, it turns out that due to memory limitations, it is not possible to use the T400 in conjunction with the dock's video card with more than 2GB of RAM installed. So instead, I broke out my old faithful IBM slash Lenovo T60 from 2006 with a Core 2 Duo T7200 and 3GB of usable DDR2 RAM. Now, just a quick thanks to PC Server and parts, they sent over 8GB of DDR3 RAM and a new processor for the T400, which once again it turns out we can't use for this video, but I do appreciate them helping us out. If that name sounds familiar, that's because I bought my dirt cheap 12 core editing rig from them. They have some really good deals on very powerful computers on their website and their eBay store, uh, including this 40 core surfer, which I have my eye on right now. Uh, if you're interested in checking them out, links to their eBay store and their website will be down in the description. Also, a huge thanks to William, one of our viewers, for sending the advanced stock over. Without him, this video would not have been possible. So yes, you're watching a video pretty much entirely about a docking station. And for the most part, the 250310U looks like every other black brick docking station of the era. It has a docking port on top, key lock to the side, and a ton of I.O. to its rear. I mean, overall, it looks pretty dull and boring, nothing to get excited about. Well, look closely though, and there are two distinct things we'll notice. One, the docking station has an integrated power supply, which is a bit odd. And two, there's an empty compartment towards its back. That compartment can house a half-height, single-slot desktop video card. This is a completely self-contained laptop to instant desktop workstation solution. So imagine this, you have a new laptop with subpar integrated graphics, or maybe you have an older laptop with aging dedicated graphics. When you're on the go, you don't necessarily need that much video horsepower, but when you're back at your desk, you need to edit some video, do a little 3D design, or train some ML models using CUDA. Drop your laptop down on a docking station like this, and you can do all of that using the dock's dedicated GPU. Since this dock's release, a lot has transpired in the world of laptop graphics. We now have Thunderbolt enclosures which perform a similar function, and for a price, some laptops now ship with desktop equivalent graphics out of the factory. However, I still really like the concept of a completely self-contained video card docking station like this. It allows for an easy transition from a laptop to a desktop workflow, and it provides an upgrade path for your laptop, increasing its longevity and providing a better return on investment. Before I get to the part of the video that you all have been waiting for, let me talk about some of the pitfalls of this particular docking station. First off, these things are expensive. Sellers on eBay are asking 150 to 200 US dollars for one of these things. Second off, the internal PCIe X16 connection, which is actually just a X1 connection with a uh, X16 riser attached, uh, can only supply a max of 50 watts. So you are pretty limited in terms of what cards you can use. For this segment, I am using a GT1030. However, stay tuned because later in the video, things are going to get crazy in terms of graphics cards. Third off, you cannot use the laptop's internal screen when it is docked with a video card. I should also mention that the fan on the docking station is deafening, and you must completely power off the laptop before docking and undocking. In a previous video, we looked at some older games and Cinebench running on this configuration. Today, we are going to bump things up a bit by running some modern AAA titles and more demanding benchmarks. I've been talking for 5 minutes straight now, and I know you guys are getting tired of me, so I'm going to let the following footage speak for itself.
Now clearly you can see that this is no modern gaming PC. It drops frames every once in a while, Battlefield 1 was unplayable, and some game objects and textures didn't load right in Fortnite. Now I know this machine and the PCIe X1 limitation is a massive bottleneck. Regardless, we are going to crank things up to insanity. Enter the GTX 1060. This is absolutely ludicrous. I did not expect this to work, but it did. So right behind me, I have this monstrosity going on. And what this is, is a GTX 1060 paired through the advanced dock with the IBM slash Lenovo T60. This is just mind blowing. I did not think this configuration would work out. And obviously, not practical at all. This is just for fun, just to see if I could actually do it. This is the most powerful card I had. I pulled it out of my uh, editing rig right there. And with that GTX 1060, this T60 is just tearing through the synthetics with three gigabytes of RAM and a Core 2 Duo. Look at that! And of course, I'm gonna uh, play some games just as I did with the GT 1030 and run some other benchmarks uh, using the screen capture card. But let me bring you around here and show you what is going on here because it is a complete fire hazard. So, ooh, and the uh, GTX 1060 is getting a little hot right there. Um, so, yes, this is the fire hazard we have going on right here. I have a Molex to a 6-pin adapter. And then I had to run a 6-pin adapter to 8-pin adapter um, for the GPU. So this cable right here is actually uh, a little warm to the touch. Uh, there's quite a bit of current going through there. So I'll give you a closer look at what's going on because I knew I, uh, I kind of flew by it uh, last time. Oh, and I also had to uh, run a jumper between those two pins to get the power supply to come on. And we have a uh, PCI Express riser cable uh, running from the internal PCI Express connection uh, to the GTX 1060. And that also has a 4-pin power connector. Uh, actually, it has a Molex power connector. Sorry, that's a correction. It has a Molex power connector that's running to it. And we have that hooked up to the power supply as well. So, really crazy slash really ghetto setup we have right here. And I was just doing this as a late night thing to see, you know, what, what would happen. Um, and it worked. So, let's run the benchmarks and play some games using the GTX 1060 with the IBM slash Lenovo T60.
So there you go. That was a 12-year-old laptop running modern benchmarks and recent AAA titles. By no means is this a performance monster, but it's definitely interesting to see how the concept of a docking station like this can breathe a little new life into an aging machine. If you're wondering why this docking station looks like it was dropped off a cliff, that is explained in the previous video of this docking station, which can be found down in the description. If you're interested in checking out the GT1030 I used in this video, the link to that will also be down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. That is going to be about it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and drop a comment down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like on this video. If you didn't enjoy this video, please tell me why. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.